what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel um make sure you like comment subscribe share turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first one to know when we upload okay so by the title of the video you already know what it's about so basically i'm just doing a little q a some questions i'm gonna be answering some questions so let's get into the video Okay, so what do you like doing in your spare time? Being on my phone, um, chilling with my kids. I was just laying around, nothing major. Uh, who is your celebrity crush? Now y'all already know it's Chris Breezy. I've been in love with Chris Brown since I was like in the sixth or the seventh grade. And been loving him ever since. Y'all heard it? Okay, next question. What has been your best slash worst date? <laughs> next. Would you date a fan? Like, if I was to be a celebrity, would I date a fan? Mm -mm, probably not. Mm -mm. The fan's crazy. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet pet. My biggest pet peeve is like being out in public and people just being so loud. Now you might see me on Snapchat or like if you really know me and you're around me, I might be a little, you know, ratchet or whatever. But just being out in public like that, no, I hate that. I cannot stand that. Who is your inspiration? I don't say this on so many videos. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. And it's because he built his own empire. This man was once standing and living in his car. Now, the empire that he have, he have like over 20 houses on his little plantation that he have. Where do I want to sleep tonight? Uh, do you speak any other languages? Yes, French. I took French in high school. I think I passed with a 70, maybe. As long as I passed. Gemma Pell Valencia. That means my name is Valencia in French. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. Um, where would you like to visit? I would like to visit Africa. I would like to visit Dubai. I would like to visit Egypt. And them like the top three I would like to visit in the world. Who is the messiest person you know? Okay, when you mean when you say messy, do you mean like dirty messy or like tea messy? Because if it's tea messy, I would say Aquanet. My own girl Aquanet. Listen, news 12 on your side, okay? Shout out Aquanet. Aquanet, that ain't throwing shade, girl. You know you messy. <laughs> but the dirtiest person messy, I'd rather not say. Uh, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is Halloween, hands down. I can watch Halloween from 1978, 1988, on up to 2018. <laughs> you feel me? I can watch all of them like I've never seen them before. What is your favorite holiday? When I was, I'm gonna say this. When I was younger, my favorite holiday was like my birthday or something like that. But being older and with children, my favorite holiday is like Christmas. You gotta think about family and just the holiday spirit. Christmas, chocolate, hot chocolate, presents, gatherings, you know, food. But yeah, Christmas, hands down. What is your favorite song? At the moment, my favorite song is, of course, you know it's a Rod Wave song, but it is, I feel like Misunderstood is my favorite song at the moment. Right, like right now as we speak at the moment. Um, uh, what celebrity would you rate as a perfect ten? Chris Brown, duh. What's your favorite place to eat? Um, if I could eat tacos and seafood every day, it would like majority of the time it would probably be a Mexican restaurant or something like that. But I don't really eat seafood like that. But I love seafood. So I would say like a Mexican restaurant is my favorite place to eat. Uh, 
what is your biggest slash weirdest fear? I don't have a weird fear, but my biggest fear is like being surrounded by water. Like being in the middle of the ocean, like right in the middle of the ocean, that will give me bad anxiety. I cannot swim on top of the water. I can swim up under the water, but you know, like if I'm in a, a, a sinking ship situation, I'm going to die because I don't know how to swim on top of the water. I'm going to be up under the water, you know. <laughs> and I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, how in the hell you know how to swim up under water, but you don't know how to swim on top of the water. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Um, what would be your superpower? Now, if you would asked me this a couple years ago, my superpower would have been like, I can read minds. But if you think about it, I mean, do you really, you, do you really want to read minds? Like, you will go crazy <laughs> if you knew what somebody thought of you. So, no. If I can fly. That would be my superpower. I can fly. I will pat me and my kids on my back. Child, we going to Jamaica, honey. We going to Dubai. We going to all these places that I said I want to visit. We going there. Because I want to fly. I'll be flying with the birds, baby. Uh, are you a good? Are you good at accents? Yes. Like I think what is this? Um, London. Hello, mate. Hello, governor. I probably don't sound like that, but oh well. Uh, what would be a good theme song for your life? <laughs> uh, what would be a good song for my life? Hmm. I don't even know. My life's so crazy right now. I don't even know. I don't know. I can't answer that question. Uh, what is the best slash worst purchase you've ever made? I can't think of a worst purchase, but the best purchase purchase in my camera with all, like my ring light um, decorations, my backdrops, all of that best purchase hands down because like every holiday i try to take pictures in special moments of my kids so they we just did like a halloween thing with the costumes and halloween pajamas so next is we're going to take some christmas photos and fall photos so my camera would definitely be <laughs> my best purchase uh da, 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 da. What's the body part that you wouldn't mind losing? My stomach. If I could lose my stomach, you won't be able to tell me nothing. Um, what is your biggest screw up in the kitchen? I cannot make ground brown gravy. I cannot. I could cook. I could cook like a lot of stuff, but I cannot make brown gravy. My mama. I remember one time I was on the phone with my mom. Like, hey, how you make brown gravy? I follow every step. I swear, T by T. But it still ain't time right. So that's one screw up in the kitchen. I cannot make brown gravy. Uh, what's the worst commercial you've seen re recently? The worst commercial I've seen recently, um, it was like a black man. He was trying to milk a horse. First of all, you know you can't milk a horse. So <laughs> that means the black man is, you know, it was a skittles commercial. But the black man was... Trying to milk the horse, but you know that's not what he doing. He got something else, and then the horse, I guess, supposedly ejaculated, and it turned put skittles in a bowl. Which, you know what? I'm not gonna even go into details of what I think what they was trying to say, but that's <laughs> the worst commercial I ever seen. What is the dumbest way you've been injured? Um, I'm I'm paratol, so that mean like. My foot, like, my left foot go in like this when I'm walking, like, compared to so I could just be walking, and I'd probably trip over my own feet. Like, and I remember one time I was in high school. It was a day before my birthday, and I was going shopping to find me something to wear on my birthday. I was going to wear some heels this day. Um, <laughs> and I was just walking. I tripped over my own feet and kind of and sprung my ankle. So the next day, I couldn't even wear what I had, in, like, bought for my birthday because I sprung my ankle. Like, girl, how you trip over your own feet? Okay. Two hours later. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My battery went dead. I'm sorry. That was just so ghetto. 
<laughs> but the, um, the next question was, what ridiculous thing has someone tricked you into doing or believing? Um, my mom, you know how older folks back in the day said, don't drive with the light on in the car or you're going to get pulled over. Come to find out, that's not even a real law. So this, all these years, I've been driving thinking that I'm going to get pulled over if I need to cover my light because I don't lost something in my car. No, that's not a law, you guys. Do you sing in the shower? Yes, I have a whole concert. And you can't tell me I'm not Beyonce. Okay. <laughs> Where did you grow up? I grew up in... I'm, uh, I grew up in Southside. I grew up in Flemma Heights, but um, recently, uh, I, I probably say I'm from Jenny's home because that's where I stayed the longest. We was there for like, my mom was there for like 18 years. So technically I'm from Jenny's home. So that's where I grew up. What were your best worst subjects in um, school? My worst subject was all of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> I, um, but my best subject was psychology. I love psychology. Um, what is the craziest thing one of your teachers has done? Put me out of class for laughing at a joke that somebody said about her. How can you get mad at me? What did I do? I just laughed. I got put out of class. Uh, were you bullied as a kid? Somebody tried to bully me. Um, I was in middle school. I'm not going to say the girl's name, but I was in middle school. And um, this girl used to mess with me all the time. Like, I mean, just used to nitpick. And I used to say nothing, you know, because I'm, I'm being cool or whatever. Not saying that I'm talking about. She used to mess with me every day. So, um, fast forward to the summertime when we got out of school. I ended up getting my first fight in my neighborhood, Jenna's home. And when I said I beat this girl up so bad because she tried me i beat up so bad so when school started back next year right this girl thought she was going to continue to mess with me when i say i chumped her off so bad and what that mean is like i cussed her out so bad like what's up you want to fight let's go guess what she ain't mess with me no more after that so basically honey you was all barking no bite you was all barking no bite yeah but that's, that's how you handle it um and I don't condone in bullying nobody, but she had it coming. Um, what were you like as a kid? I was quiet to myself, basically. Just quiet into myself. I'm, I'm still like that really kind of to this day. Um, what did you enjoy doing with your friends? Hanging out, just talking about old times, just good vibes, drinking, sipping on wine, you know. Were your parents strict? No. My daddy was like a cool homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Like with my brothers, he... You know how men are. Oh, he'll let them do stuff like that. But my daddy was like a, like a cool homeboy. I, I, I was the type of child where I never did nothing. I never did nothing. So, you know, my mama wasn't strict either now. Um, I didn't. I never asked her really to spend that on people's house, so she didn't have to worry about me asking can I spend that on people's house. Um, besides people like who I was best friends with or growing up with, you know. But far as being strict, you know, she she wasn't strict at all. Um, were you a good student? No. In, in certain classes, I was a good student. I feel like if you you if you're a good teacher, then I'm a good student, but. Overall, I just like having fun in my classes, so yeah, I really wasn't a good student. I used to skip I used to skip class and what's so crazy, I used to skip this one teacher class, I'm not gonna say her name because she's my friend on Facebook. But hey, I used to skip her class and then when it's um I used to skip her class when it was time, but I used to skip somebody else's class and skip into her class, if that makes sense. So let me kinda break this down. I think I had her fourth period so I used to skip fourth period and just probably hang out and then when it's time for me to go to sixth period I was skipping her class so she'll probably be like girl where you was at in fourth period but you here now um I just got to school no one I'm lying uh let's see what was my favorite toy I don't know if y'all remember but I used to collect beanie babies it was like these little toys, stuffed animal, like little small 
like um, furry animals like um, rabbits and elephants. It was just different kind of things, but it was called Beanie Babies. I used to collect them. Like I had so many Beanie Babies. Um, let's see. When I um, what did you want to be when you were a kid? I I want to be a teacher. Which is crazy because I hated school. So why would you want to be a teacher, you know? But I don't, I, I want to be a teacher. But, okay, so that was the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on your post notifications. Um, like I said, I'm going to be uploading more often. I hope you guys like, you know, my content that I'm putting out. Bye.